going to show you a simulation I ran to create coefficient of drag and lift plots with changing angles of attack. For this simulation, I decided to use Snappy Hex Mesh, which ended up producing a mesh with around 1.4 million cells and 10 inflation layers. The solver I chose was Pimple Foam with Dynamic Mesh, also known as AMI. This stands for Arbitrary Mesh Interface, and I ran this simulation on six cores. This simulation was performed at a Reynolds number of 1 million, and the total computation time was around 25 hours. Post-processing was done using a mixture of Paraview and Excel. These are the basic simulation procedures and commands I used. I am not running through them step by step because these are similar enough to tutorials I have done in the past. And besides specifying different boundaries and boundary conditions, they are identical to those found for the rotating fan in room tutorial. The main area of focus for this video will be the post-processing of the results in Paraview to get the lift and drag values. The basic idea with this simulation was to get lift and drag data for the wing over a range of angles of attack. This could be done in two ways, running many steady state simulations, one for each angle of attack, or you could do what I have done here. I've specified an angular velocity, omega, that the airfoil will rotate at during this simulation. Because we know the angular velocity and time, we can calculate the angle of attack. Assuming the effects from rotating the airfoil are relatively small, we can determine the relationship between the forces on the airfoil and the angle of attack with two simulation. As we will see in the results, this approach does give decent results, but artifacts from the angular velocity are noticed. These artifacts would likely diminish as the angular velocity was reduced. However, to achieve a similar range of angles of attack, simulation time would drastically increase. Now I will show you the boundaries I have specified for the simulation. The first one is the rotating region, or AMI. Then the wing as a no-slip wall, a turbulent inlet, an outlet, then slip walls around the wing. Once all of your files are set up correctly, as per previous tutorials, you simply run the case and then load the data in Paraview. In the next part here, I will show you how to calculate the lift and drag in Paraview and export it into an Excel.
The only other parameter that can be a bit tricky to calculate is a naught for the wings with a complex geometry like this one. You can think of this value as the area of the wing projected down into the xz plane when the wing is at 0 degrees angle of attack. This can be easily done in SOLIDWORKS using the following procedure. Here you can see the results I achieved after all post-processing was done. The full Excel will be provided in the GitHub with the rest of the files. As I mentioned before, I do see some artifacts from the methodology I chose. This can likely be lessened with a lower value of omega. This simulation is not perfect. I think the procedures can serve as a good guide, but I would change a few things if I was looking for professional level, high precision results. The first thing I would do would be a mesh refinement study. This will be the topic of the next video. I would also use a much lower value of omega so I can ensure that the results I'm seeing are only due to the flow and not the angular velocity. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, please subscribe here and to my Patreon, as well as liking and sharing the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will get to them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content. Goodbye.